we're going to spend a little time talking about T accounts. These are very important tools that we'll be using throughout the entire class and throughout all of your accounting classes. And it really is an important tool and foundation for you to learn early on. So a T account is basically just a mathematical tool that's going to help you analyze the effects of transactions on specific accounts. And really, it's going to come into play on step three of your analyzing and recording process when we moved the information from the journal into the account ledgers. Account ledgers, you can see the format in your textbook. It tends to be a little bit more detailed. So in order to do a quick analysis and see what the balance is, we'll be using T accounts. What does a T account look like? Well, it looks like a T, hence the name. At the top of the T, you have the account title. So again, you'll have a T account for every single account the company has. Cash, accounts receivable, equipment, supplies, uh, accounts payable, etc., etc. And then there's a left side to the account and a right side to the account. Or in accounting speak, we have a debit side and a credit side. And in this class, debit and credit simply mean left and right. So I don't want you to confuse those terms with um, ones that you may have already learned in other classes or just by being a consumer and maybe having you know a checking account or a debit card or a credit card. The uh, banking industry terms are different from our accounting terms. So again, for this class, debit simply means left and credit simply means right. Um, you will see that certain accounts will increase with a debit and certain accounts will increase with a credit. But that is all that those terms mean, left and right. So again, we're going to use this tool to help us analyze the effects of transactions on the accounts so we can quickly compute a balance. So just as you have tools to help you in your math class, you're going to use this for your accounting class. So to give you an example, in your math class, let's say you have a checking account, you put in $400, you take out $50, you take out another $100, your ending balance is $250. That would be the format that you've learned. Well, we're going to take that same information and now put it into our T account. So, for your checking account, you started with 400, so we'll go ahead and put that on the debit or the left side, since checking is an asset and increases with a debit. Go ahead and list that 400. You would list all deductions from the account on the right side or the credit side, and you would show the ending balance on the left side because it happens to be greater. So you can see in both examples, you're left with the exact same answer. It's just a different way to present this information. So again, this will be the format that we'll be using for the rest of this class. So you will want to be familiar with the format and learn which accounts increase with a debit, which accounts increase with a credit.